Hi everyone and welcome to Serpente Sunday for November 26, 2023. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. This is our Angolan Python Radic. And Radic was hatched on July 20th, 2021, and he arrived on August 25th, 2021. So he is about two years old, just a little over two years old. He was produced by Terry Burwell of TB Snakes. And I wanted to go over with you a little bit about our Angolan Python's behavior and tell you a little bit of how difficult a time I have found trying to find good information about Angolan Pythons in books or in the scientific literature. So let's start with a reference that I bought specifically hoping to find information on Angolan Pythons called Snakes of Central and Western Africa. It's by Chapeau and Jackson. And there are literally only three paragraphs about the Angolan Python in this book. If you get the book, it's on page 66 of the hardcover edition, but I'm going to basically tell you what the book says right now. It lists the species as the Angolan Python or Dwarf Python, Python Anchiete or Anchiete. I'm not sure how the um, taxonomic name is pronounced. This book indicates that the range of the Angolan python extends from southern Angola to northern Namibia, and the type locality is Catumbela near Lobito, Angola. Python anchiete lives in areas of grassy savanna, sometimes more or less rocky, and it says that this species is similar to python regis both in size and behavior. I have not found that to be the case with my Angolan Python. Radic is nothing like my Python Regis, but I only have the one Angolan, so maybe mine is an outlier. It says that the species is rather shy and fearful, and I don't find that to be the case at all with Radic. He's not shy, he's not fearful. I have never seen him ball up. He rarely hides. In fact, the only time I've ever seen him hide is when he is going into shed. And sometimes even then he comes out to bask. He's not hissy. He's not strikey. He's very bold and outgoing. I seldom find him on the ground. He likes to climb and be up high. I don't find at all that he's similar to, to our Python Regis. And we have quite a few Python Regis here. This book says that Angolan pythons feed mainly on small mammals like gerbils, birds, and that sometimes they eat lizards or arthropods. Arthropods are insects. I have never heard that before. Our Angolan python eats quail and rats and mice. And I have had clients ask me about the feeding behavior of Angolan pythons. People have told me that theirs tend to not be the best eaters and that they will sniff the food, they'll go for the food, they'll smell the food, they'll interact with the food and not eat it, or they'll strike and take the food and not eat it. Radic is not really the best eater, but I'm sure as you can see in this video footage, he is chunky. He is a plump, chunky snake. In fact, I think he's too chunky. He has that dip along the spine where the two longissimus dorsi, the, the upper back muscles, are kind of protruding, protruding up above the spine, leaving a dip in the middle, which can indicate that an animal is overweight. So he is very chubby. He's very chunky. But Radic doesn't eat much. He's often not interested in food. When he is actually hungry, he'll eat. And sometimes that's once a month. Sometimes it's every three weeks, five weeks, six weeks. But on average, I say he probably eats once a month. And I am sometimes concerned he doesn't eat enough. But he is chunky and he's strong. And he's, he's in good body condition. If anything, he's a little over conditioned. What I would say to you if you have an Angolan python, like my client was asking me about, that tends to, they described it, play with their food and not eat it. I, I just don't feed mine that often. I don't offer food that often. I really don't offer radic food now since I've had him a couple of years and I've come to learn what is baseline for his hunger behavior. 
I do not even offer him food unless I see him actively in an ambush position for several nights in a row. That his movement is increased when I'm walking around the enclosure or when I'm training and feeding other snakes. If he's very sensitive to motion and I see his eyes moving in my direction or his face or body moving at all in my direction, as opposed to just hanging there and not reacting, that's when I know that he's probably actually hungry and will eat when I offer him the food. But he is active, he's bold, he climbs a lot, he will come out, he will explore. I just haven't noticed shy, fearful, or defensive behavior in him at all. So that's really all this book says about Angolan pythons. It says females usually lay clutches of fewer than six eggs. And then I looked in the Book of Snakes by Mark O'Shea, which came out in 2018. And the Angolan python is not even mentioned in this book. It's not listed. So in an older book by Mark O'Shea called Boas and Pythons of the World, which I think came out in 2006, the Angolan python is actually mentioned. And I'll read to you a little bit of what he says back then. He says that the Angolan python is also known as Anchieta's dwarf python and that it's an African python with a very restricted range found only in southern Angola and northern and central Namibia. It's protected, or at least it was a protected species at the time of uh, this book was written, which was in the early 2000s. And at that time, it was believed to be most closely related to the royal python or python regis. And I'm pretty sure that's only because they look a little bit similar. Although to me, they don't look similar. They're chunky and kind of shaped the same, but their coloration is not the same at all. The Angolan python is a reddish brown or a dark brown. They've got yellow markings on the face and on the body. Very, very pretty in my opinion. But in uh, Rawlings et al. paper that was published in 2014, which was a molecular phylogenetics paper about snake phylogenetics, um, Python anchiete or the Angolan python was actually found to be most closely related to Python sebe or the African rock python. So they are only distantly related to royal pythons. And again, in my opinion, their behavior is nothing alike. So, you know, I just haven't been able to find a lot of information in the scientific literature or in textbooks about Angolan pythons, and I only have this one. So I can only share behavior and knowledge with you based on Radic, the one that I actually observe here in my family. He's been with me for two years. He's bold. He's outgoing. He's mellow. He's not fearful. He seldom hides. He loves to climb and he likes to bask. He's easily handled and he doesn't eat that often and he stays really chunky. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you have additional information about Angolan pythons, I would love to hear from you either in the comments here on YouTube or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram or email me at behavioreducationllc at gmail.com. And until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.